my friends and welcome back to the bench. In today's video we're going to be going over these hubby tool storage rack and a complete system. Um, I usually don't take uh, many products from companies. Um, I do most of this stuff on my own. I buy paints that I want to test. Uh, but uh, if it's a product or a paint, because I love paint, that I will use an airbrush. Of course, I like. Uh, I get requests for other stuff I just don't use. I don't like. I'm not going to test. Um, but when somebody offered me uh, a rack system, I absolutely love paint racks and storage. You've seen the room, and uh, it's kind of my thing. I do like this stuff, so I said, "Yeah, I'll try them." And uh, they went ahead and sent me one of each that they offer. Now the company is called Bucasso. My email is actually uh, Picasso Trigger. I used to raise uh, saltwater trigger fish, and Picasso Trigger Fish was my favorite of all fish. But uh, that's why I think that's, that's how I think it's pronounced, Picasso. And um, yeah, each one is snap build, no glue. You can't glue them. No one's going to stop you. I did show this in a previous video. It might have been one of my tips and tools, but. Uh, we're going to swing around behind me here because uh, I'm going to show you the box they came in. We're going to lay them out. I'll build one on camera, and then I'll show them all built. And then what I'm going to do is they're all numbered. This is the GK1. They all have a number. I'll put a number. I'll either put on the box or a little, maybe a post-it in front of each one. That way, if you guys see a one or two that you like, that's the one you can order. And what I'll do is I'll, I'll put the links below for each one. And then you can actually buy the whole box. Uh, in one shot for a couple hundred bucks and uh, you get them all, it's a beautiful set, they kind of all match and fit together nice and uh, what we're going to do is, and I'm going to get you guys too dizzy, but we're going to swing this way and uh, I cleared off an area here and uh, on another note, all the uh, Mr. Hobby is going to be uh, going in brand new paint racks also and that's another video that is coming soon uh, we're updating the room quite a bit and uh we're going to take you along for the ride. Anyway, we're going to lay them out here when we're done. But let me show you the box that they came in. There you go. And each... Hold on. Hold on. There we go. Each one is in here. They're all individually wrapped. They're sealed. As you can see. And uh, this is a little, looks like a little shelf or storage. Or even you can put your uh, runners on that. All right, here's a little steep stepped up type shelf. I do like this kind of shelf quite a bit. Oh, oh look at this, a drawer system, little drawers. Sorry guys, my voice is a little further away. I'm reaching in here while I'm doing this. Oh, this looks like it holds uh, your brushes. And uh, I like to store mine upwards, but this is pretty cool that you can see the size of each brush that you reach for. I, I do like that, it's pretty unique. Oh, I think this is the runner rack, right? The sprue rack. Yeah, here we go. And you can see, like I said, GK8. They all they all have a numbering system. This look, it's what? Yeah, this looks like it's for paints. I won't know until I assemble them. Hey, they're kind of heavy. Hold on. It's a stretch. There's a GK1 in there, that, and that one I already built. I showed you that one. So this will be the last one we show here. Looks like a kind of a marker or a pen rack or even brushes. You can use it for anything. Files, X-Acto knives, really nice. All right. So, yeah, let me pick one of these, and uh, I'll assemble one on camera. And then uh, I'll pause it, and I'll have them all built, and we'll put them all up here. We'll show you how you can arrange them, and they're really, really... Uh, Really good looking when it, when it's all together and nice and neat as part of a, a set. So that's what we're going to have them up across here. So let me pause the camera, get back to the bench. Let's lay one out and uh, let's build one. All right, guys, here we are back at the bench. We're going to go with the uh, GK5. We'll build on camera. That's everything inside. Beautifully cut. High quality uh, cuts here for sure. Beautiful. The, the, the board is super smooth. Very nice. 
So here are our pieces. And we're going to lay these out. I might have to get hawks out of here. Look out, hawks. All right, so B21. Actually, lay it out just like it shows here, right? All right, B2. There's one of those. There's B1. There's two of those. These are identical. Yep. All right, so three D3. It's even laid out in the in the box exactly uh, how it shows here in the. Oh wait, wait. We got to turn this one. Yep, this one's on top. It looks like. All right. Not that we got to match it how it's laid out here, but it'll make it easier. All right. Now these are slightly different, so I'm guessing it's the angle. Yes. Yeah, see how there's an angle in the wood? That's how it's showing in there. But I see two dots here. So that would be this one. And there's our angle at the top. So that's that. And this is that. All right. So let's fold this in half. All right. So we're going to get D3, which is this one. D4 on this side. All right. The bottom is a D1, which was this. And the angle faces towards it. It's very nice. I like the way they uh, they flared it here so uh, it's not rough. All right, so there we are. So here is D3. We'll go like this, I'm guessing. D4 will face this way. Yep, that's where the shelving goes, I'm guessing. Yep, all right. So there's the base, the two sides, this is the back, and a D2 is the front, and I'm guessing the flange will match this. All right, let's go ahead. I don't know where to start first. What do you think, guys? The back? It fits really well, if I recall the other one. Yep, it fits really nice. Looks like a puzzle. Tough to do from behind the camera, that's all. The kit itself is easy. There we go. So I'm guessing we should have did the sides. Yep. All right. Flip her up. Hold on, guys. It's just the camera angle that make it tough. I'm not set up for building yet. That's why I keep saying I plan on uh, getting ready to uh, do builds on camera. I just got to get a whole new setup. I need to have the camera hanging below instead of in front of me like this. It's a, it's a whole thing, but I'm going to do it right. That's what I'm going to do. Look at that. See how beautiful it fits together? All right, so we're going to get the top. Now, do these slide in? Yeah, these slide in, so I guess we don't have to worry about that. So we'll put the top on. This should be fun too, right? It's like tongue and groove. All right. Just got to work it, I guess. See where I'm sticking here. Can you guys see where I'm hitting this? No, nope, not really. It fits right in. Yep, there it goes. Like I said, it... It fits really, really well. Good thing my bench is really strong. Huh? <clears throat> As I said, it does not need uh, glue, for sure. And there it is. And that's it. Yeah. Wow, it is built really good. Excellent. All right, I guess these slide in wherever we want them. Oh, wow, excellent. Yep. Good place for uh, instruction manuals and whatnot. There we go. And, uh, man, believe you guys, I mean, it, it's not, <laughs> I made it look harder than it was. It's because of where I'm sitting on the, on the, with the camera position. But boy, it is built really, really well. Excellent. And you can adjust these where you want them, I guess. Yep. If you need more room, and then you can put your manuals in here or your decals. And um, I'll show you that once we get everything done. But uh, let me go ahead. I'm going to assemble the rest. It doesn't take long. 
Even that uh, big one I showed you, I think took me uh, about 10, 15 minutes tops. And uh, they, they go right together beautifully. And yeah, all right, so let me go ahead, build the rest, and then we'll go over to here, off to the side. We'll lay them all out. And uh, we'll put some stuff in it. And um, we'll see how they look. All right, I'll see you back in just a second. All right, now, here we go. I uh, built them all. It took uh, about an hour to assemble uh, all of these. There's eight of them, so it was seven, as one was built uh, a few days ago, as you saw in my other video. I'll show you that one now. But here is uh, G7. This is our runner holder. This is our brush and tray. Uh, I say G, but it's GK6. Here is a drawer, set of drawers. GK2. I, I labeled everything, so you guys, uh, if you want to order one, Individually, that's what you got. This is a marker, a brush holder, or a tool holder. That's GK4. I have a few more over here. Now, I want you guys to notice something. And that's these notches. And if you look here, you can stack them, and they lock in really tight, and we can build up a nice wall at the back of your bench if you don't have a full room like I do, where I have everything kind of spread out across. Um... You know, that's just the way it has to be for me, as you can see here. But uh, uh, a terrific idea that they lock in really, really well. And um, I'll show you that in a second. Now, let me bring over some other ones. Uh, GK3, a beautiful shelf unit, divided up. We'll lock those in in one second. It's GK5. This should hold your manuals or your decals. Nope. A GK8. This is a beautiful paint drawer. We'll fill that up in a second. All right. They're all the same length here, so they all fit in evenly. There we go. Trying to keep these little taggies on it, but I'll have everything up at the end of the video once everything is displayed. And... Uh, you guys can pause it, pick the one you want, and, uh, yep, that's uh, GK3. All right, I got one more behind me, and that is the uh, the main rack that holds a little bit of everything. And um, I will add that to these here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the camera. I'm going to kind of make a little wall here. We're going to lock them in like I showed you, and we're going to put all the material in them. And I'm going to show you what these look like if they would be at the back of your bench, ready to go, ready to start building. So um, let me go grab that one behind me. Let me put some supplies in here. And we'll show you the end results in three, two, one. And there we go. I loaded it up, and uh, it looks great. Um, hold on. There we go. And uh, hold on. Let me get a better angle for you guys here. Maybe if I can tip it up a little bit. There we go. That's pretty good. Now, I got it kind of almost a U-shape. Uh, you could have just left it as two by two across and left the runners down here, but it depends how big your desk is. This is the runner holder. This is G7, and uh, this is an RX-78 Master Grade, so you can see it fits in there pretty good. Um, yeah, but check out some of this stuff here. This is G8, the paint rack. Look at this. And then it has a holder that tips and locks in. And these are all my uh, Vallejo uh, Game Airs. Yep, Game Air and Model Air. Put those in there. This holds the uh, Mr. Hobby. Check this out. Look at that. That holds Mr. Hobby and uh, the smaller Tamiya size. Hold on. Okay, Tamiya, same thing. Holds those. And check this out. Check this out. Gaia, and it holds those babies too, and you're wondering if it fits, it closes. I put some all in the back too, just to make sure if it fit, and it did, these, these fit too. So it holds a wide variety of paint, and uh, makes everything nice and neat, which, which I absolutely love on my uh, desk, and um, below it, I set this up any old way, I tuck them in. They all, uh, they all align really nice, but um, 
I stuck them anyway. I thought this was nice, leaving this center one, which contains the most um, compartments to hold every little thing, your nippers, glues. So I put that in the center. That's just the way I did it, you know. But you can do it any other way. But here's your brushes. Also, my weathering pencils. Can you see that? So these fit in here also. And uh, what's nice is I have a bunch of these fat-handled, real fat-handled uh, brushes. And they fit perfectly because it has different size holes at the top. And then the smaller ones drilled out at the bottom to hold a, a thinner brush like that. And plenty there to expand. You can keep adding. Below it is a little shelf unit. I keep my uh, box cutter right there. Extra blades. My multi-purpose plier there. Some pens. In the drawers here, I didn't fill them up with everything. But look, my pipettes fit in there. And uh, there's, three, there's, there's two sizes. It's five drawers. Here's the main unit. This is the GX1, the GK1. This is their main unit. I look, fill it up with all kinds of stuff to show what you can hold. You know, uh, cotton swabs. It holds perfectly. The square jars from Mark Fitz and uh, even uh, Mr. Hobby square jars fit in there. In the back, I got some uh, custom service. This is uh, some putty. I got a lot of putties in here. See it? My compound putty from Tamiya up here. These here are some more putties. This is my display glass file. And here are a bunch of the display. Little individual uh, sandpapers. They come in a little case, and I took them all out and just lined them up here. Top and bottom. Here is some of my airbrush cleaners. You can dedicate a, a drawer here just to airbrushing. Like, you'll know if you even label it, all your airbrush stuff will be in here. You know, and that's how you can get it uh, neatened up. And... Um, there's some markers here. You can put anything in there. Your tools in there. Here is a beautiful holder for your uh, nippers. And uh, God knows I got a ton of those. Put those up in there. Here is a pair of pliers, um, uh, tweezers that fit beautiful. Behind it is tape. These slide out that hold them, and you slide it back in. That's how I loaded the tape in it. That's GK1. GK2 is the drawers. GK6, the brush holder. Uh, GK8 is the uh, paint rack. Put it like this so you guys can see it. There you go. Oh, uh, GK7 is the uh, runner rack. And let's move over here a little bit. I'll move the camera with us. Here we go. Alright. This is another nice type of shelf. I love this kind of stuff. I have some acrylic stuff he here on my bench, but uh, this one's really nice. and It's a nice step, but it's not too big. It doesn't have a big footprint. and It holds, like I said, all these square jars. Humbrol mask, all my glues at the top, even these awkward size glues from Ravel fit in there perfect. It's got the shelf at the front. I put some parts here that I'm uh, painting. Put a marker here just to show you. Now below it is that that's uh, GK3 for this unit. Now below is GK5. This is a little shelf unit, and you can adjust it any way you want it. Right? I just got them in the center. I have everything centered. So in here you can put all your decals and uh, instruction sheets. I even have this set of tools uh, from Kutabukia. I have a bunch of these. They'll all fit in here. Here's some right here. Here's a little stand from Kutabukia. That fits in here too. Here's my scissors. And this little rack is GK5. And then below is uh, a, 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 yeah, it's a marker rack, but uh, this is GK4. This is a marker rack, but right here I got all my uh, X-Acto blades. I love this uh, green one from Excel. I use this one quite a lot. But uh, they're all here. My Fisker quick release is right here. One of my favorites. It doesn't roll, but look at that. Lays in there perfect. Here's another Fisker. So my, oh, sorry guys, I keep it in the camera. So uh, keep my blades here in the corner, but all the markers are up here, and you can fit a ton more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, right? 16, 32, a lot. You can <laughs> add them up in your head there. Um, math isn't the strong point. I stop at 32. Anyway, um, yeah, so the, this is great, and but I, like I said, I have it laid out in a certain way. I just did it, uh, I threw it together quickly, but I knew how I would want it to, to appear, and uh, this is kind of perfect right here. I keep the brushes next to the paint. If you really lay it out in a certain way, all the glue will be in one spot. But uh, yeah, that is it. I do like the product. It's quality. It holds up. None of this has been glued together, and look how sturdy it is. Um, they lock in beautifully. And uh, all the wood is this, uh, it's not press board, it's a different type of wood. You'll see it on the, on the page on Amazon, the, on the link I'm going to put explains the, the wood. 
and it can be stained if you want beautifully and painted. You can actually paint over it um, to match your surroundings or your bench if you want it all black. Um, I tended to paint a lot of my uh, plastic, white plastic shelves black, so it kind of matched the room. And I might even do the same with these. I'm not sure yet. But anyway, I do like them. They're wonderful. They go together great. I'll hold up the company name, Picasso. And I will put a link to each one. And um, one more time, GK7, the paint rack, GK8, the brush rack, GK6, the main rack, GK1, the, the uh, one that uh, has a little bit of everything, the drawers, GK2, the stepped up uh, shelving rack is GK3, this one that holds the uh, manuals, I call it the manuals, the decals, the shelving unit, that's uh, GK5, and the marker and uh, tool rack, uh, blade rack, is GK4, alright, they have others too, they have even more than this, believe it or not, they even have more than this. And you can buy the whole set at once, too. It'll come in a big box. And uh, I'll put a coupon below. She gave me a code, I believe. I believe I got a code for 5% off all of these. And uh, I'll put the code below. And uh, I believe it's good for all of them. Everything you see in this picture, that code is good for. So I'll put the code at the top. And then I'll put a link to each one. I'll start with GK1. And I'll go through to GK. Um, all, all the way through all of them. Right to GK8. So, there you go, guys. A uh, wonderful piece. I do like them quite a bit. They match the room. And uh, you can see my other wood racks. And I have another review of those coming up very soon. Uh, I might even do my next video. We'll keep with this rack thing going. Rack theme going. We'll go with that. And, uh, yeah. So, there you go. Um, only thing missing is... i going to get Hawks in my video. It is Hawks. All right. Hawks is back. Look how small he is now compared to the tower. <laughs> I'm used to having him on the bench. Um, all right, guys, there you go. Thank you so much. Please, please like the video and subscribe if you haven't already. We hit the milestone of 70,000. We're trying to get to that 100,000 magic mark, but 70,000 is wonderful, so I'm going to start putting together some giveaways. So in the next few weeks, we're going to have some great giveaways. Each milestone, we're going to give some great, great prizes away. You guys have been terrific. So please subscribe and please hit the notification bell uh, as I do try to put up at least two videos a week for you guys. And uh, there's plenty more stuff to be reviewed and tested. And for that, we will. And thanks again, guys. Have a great rest of your week. We'll see you over the weekend. God bless you all. Have a wonderful day.